Welcome to SSP TV Community News. I'm Lisa Sugart. Today we are here at the Laurel Mall as the Hazelton Area Cyber Academy is hosting a very unique event for the students that are enrolled in its cyber program. Among those who are here to see this talented group of students is the Superintendent of Schools for the Hazelton Area School District, Dr. Brian Uplinger. Dr. Uplinger, tell us about what's happening here behind us because these are students from your Hazelton Area Cyber Academy. That's right. Our cyber students, we give them an opportunity usually once a month, uh, maybe once every couple months to get together, uh, to see one another, to, get in per to be in person, just to make the cyber experience a little more personal for them. Uh, to know that the district does st stand behind them in, in their choice of the path that they've chosen to, to do cyber school. So uh, we want to get them together. We want to do some art and fun things with them. Uh, we've done some uh, pumpkin carving in the past. We've done some things around Christmas and around Thanksgiving. So we'll just continue that tradition throughout the rest of the school year and into the, into the future. This also helps to bring attention to the Cyber Academy itself, which many people may not be familiar with that the district has its own program. And you are also going to be relocating, I guess, the offices for that here to the Laurel Mall? That is correct. We are right now in the, the final stages of putting all of those pieces in, the, in place for those spaces in the mall. Um, that should be done hopefully by the end of the school year, and then we'll get into them uh, for the, the beginning of next school year. And again, teachers will, only the teachers and administration will be there. Students won't be there on a daily basis, but they may come in to check in their computer or check on their, you know, get some tutoring or things like that. We have evolved our, our cyber program from 70 students prior, prior to the pandemic to over 700 at this point. So they're really, um, really making a great effort in, in making this a, a very successful program. So uh, for those that don't really know what it is, please reach out to us and we'll give you more information on it if, if you're interested in maybe going this path instead of going in person. One of the students participating in this art project here today is Donovan Bench. He is a third grade student with the Hazelton Area Cyber Academy. Donovan, what are you doing here today? I'm painting and doing fun stuff and that. Do you like these activities when you get together with your fellow students? Yep, it's very fun and very nice to do. So now you're part of the cyber school, so you're usually working from home on your computer, so this gives you the opportunity to get out with the other kids, right? Yes, it is. What do you think of this today? Uh, this is a very nice meetup to have fun with my friends and paint and all that. What did you make for us today? Well, I made uh, a sun with birds and clouds. And are you into art? Do you do a lot of painting or art? Yeah, I love art and drawing. Another student of the Hazelton Area Cyber Academy is Claire Price, who is in fourth grade. Claire, how are you enjoying this activity here today? Fun. Fun? What are you making? Kind of like an ombre effect with like kind of like a, the, like an eclipsy feeling in the middle of it. Now, do you like these gatherings to get together with the other students? Yes. Have you done others before? Yes. What's the best part? We had to make new friends with people in your class. I found two more students who are students at the Hazelton Area Cyber Academy. First, we're going to talk with Michalina. She is in third grade. Michalina, are you having fun here today? Yes. What's the best part? Learning. Learning? And what are you learning? Art. What are you doing? What in particular are you making? Well, rainbow, kind of. So do you like cyber school? Yes. Yes? But is it fun to come out and see the kids here? Yes. Yes? So would you do more things like this if they have them? Yes. Yes? All right. Very good. We also have a classmate here, Thomas, who is, uh, Thomas Moser is in sixth grade with the Cyber Academy. Thomas, tell us about what the activities are here today. Um, there's painting, which almost everyone is doing. And there's like just snacks and drinks and just to have a fun time. So now, do you like cyber school? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But do you like getting together with the students here? Yes. But that gives you the best of both worlds that you get to do? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Have you ever done traditional schooling before? Yes. So you definitely like cyber better? I transferred in cyber half like like halfway through the year. And so. you're enjoying it? Yeah. Definitely a lot better than in person for me. 
Two more talented students came my way. I'm pleased to be joined by Evangeline Rivera and Maylin Starr. Evangeline, I'm going to start with you. You're in fourth grade with the Cyber Academy. Tell us how you're enjoying today's activity. Um, I am enjoying it by making the cats, and it's, it's really getting all my energy out because then you get to think of all the different things of everything like spring or, or anything else. So how much fun is it when you do an event like this with the students in person? It is a lot of fun. Yeah? Yeah. Tell us what you're making here today. I am making a beautiful sun. Oh. Now do you like art? Yes. Yes? So now as a student with the Cyber Academy, is it fun to come out and meet the kids one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, definitely. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get your cyber school and you get fun with the students. Is that a good thing, a good mix? Yes, it is, definitely. Is there any favorite thing you have with cyber school? Um, probably having fun with my friends and doing art. Also here today as part of this special event at the Laurel Mall is Bob Mahalik. Bob is the assistant to the superintendent for the Hazleton Area School District. This is really fantastic. It's, it's tremendous and uh, the, the parents are uh, so appreciative uh, when we have our opportunities to socialize our students and uh, great turnout and we're so thankful for SSP TV to give our students a little, uh, you know, a little air time. They're all excited that you guys are here seeing their amazing talents. Uh, but today is, you know, it's about art in the schools. Uh, and even if that school is online, we still celebrate uh, like they are doing in person. Um, but it's also a chance for the students to get together. To, uh, you know, they have their friends. They made their friends online. And when they can come together and, and actually see each other in person, it's, it's just even that much more special. I found one student very excited to be on the news, so how could we say no? Jade De La Cruz is a fourth grade student. And Jade, how long have you been in the cyber school? Since pandemic. So you made the switch to the cyber school. Do you like it? Yes. Yes? And how do you like being here today with all your friends? I feel amazing. <laughs> what are you making today? I'm making a painting. <laughs> all right. And what are you going to do with that painting when it's done? I'm going to hang it up on my room wall. So what's been the, your most favorite part of today? Everything. Everything? Even the car ride, <laughs> even the snacks, <laughs> even the painting, everything. And what would you say to people who are going to watch you on TV? What do you want to tell them about the cyber school? Please join today. They are looking for new people. I wish to see you all.